on plain floor of the engine as a cement. Position of the tooth and remove the excessive. In order to design a laminate bridge in clinic cat, you need to have a right to water sheet. You will be able to notice a problem if you order with crown bridge. That's why you must put the order as a coping bridge. Run the clinic cat. Select the prepared data module. Switch the scan data for the maxilla to the pre-op data. Put the virtual extracted scan data to the maxilla data. Before we get started, let me preface this process by saying that this isn't a Maryland bridge specific workflow, so there is a problem with setting the insertion direction. This insertion direction also affects the gingival side of the body so it needs to be modified to the occlusal side to some extent. However, there is a limit to how much you can modify the insertion direction, so you can't do it all at once. In this case, you can go to the next step and come back and make one more correction. I'm going to adapt library tools to copy it too. Click the copy mirror function, show the pre op scan data. Select the tooth and then press the apply button. Position copied tooth by considering adjacent teeth, the gingival line. Moving on to the next step, the inner surface, margin, and outer facing library will be combined to reflect the insertion direction. Use the sculpting tool to edit the shape. Trim the gingiva of the japonic to fit. Make it connected by clicking next. In order for a Maryland bridge to last as long as you want it to, it's very important to build it strong and cement it properly. It tracks the tooth number 11 which has a mobility. Place an implant by using surgical guide. Connect the healing abutment. Check the fit of the provisional Maryland bridge. Do the exit etching and light cure the adhesive resin. Send blast inner surface of the laminate and then do the silane treatment. Apply floral resin as a cement. Position over the tooth and remove the excessive resin. Light polymerize for the sufficient time to make the resin to be cured perfectly. I use a high power light curing unit while applying air. Check the occlusion and finish it. Additionally, you can increase the resin adhesion with hydrophilic acid surface treatment. Mm -hmm when cementing to a ceramic prosthesis. I will show you the process of removing the resin without damaging the tooth. The perfect scenario might be the bridge is falls out after two months like this. If it is bonded to a ceramic prosthesis, as in this case, it is easy to remove. Long edentulous prosthesis often fracture earlier than expected. Use greenstone to reduce the thickness of the resin laminate. Spray water or blow air at this time.
Remove the thinned resin with the sticker. Use the silicone tool to further reduce the thickness. Scrape the thinned resin with the sticker. Repeat the same operation to finish. Thank you.